Okay, so today, oop, I'm about to burp already. Sorry, hold up. Excuse me. Today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the service menu on the uh, Sony Trinitrons, and it'll be semi-similar for a lot of this era Trinitron. But for for reference, this is a uh, KV27V42. This is a BA4D chassis. Um, I, I believe I'm going to, I'm going to, I believe this was many. So it was either, it's one of two things. This is either from 99 or 2001. I forget, but one of those two. Um, and yeah, so to get into the service menu, and this is just going to be a very like layman's overview. I don't know everything. This is just going to be what I know. And, you know, show me messing with some stuff to try and help you guys out. So to get into the service menu, Make sure you got her pointing at you know at your TV, and you want to push display five volume plus and then power. So that's display five volume plus and then power. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I gotta kind of look and see how makes. So display five volume plus and then power. And then this is the first time I'm turning this on, so it's gonna take a second to turn on. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call actually while this turns on. So there it is turned on, but I'm going to take this phone call quick. All right, sorry about that. So we're back. So we're in service menu now, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my Super Nintendo one to our favorite boy, get to some, uh, some 240p test suite, our demos or whatever it is, and we'll go to test patterns because it's the easiest to... Oh, i got to turn the exposure down when I get a second here. There we go, that's a little better. We'll go to grid. And mind you, the TV hasn't warmed up yet. So when you're making service adjustments, you actually want to let the set run, you know, and warm up for about half an hour actually. Um to really to really to make adjustments. That's kind of what you want to do. But so now that we're in a grid pattern, this is probably the best place to start. We can use so it'll be hard to see because I turned the brightness down, but one and four cycle between menu options. You can see it changing there. So one and four. And then if you want to change a menu option, it's three and six. But with that being said, any option you're going to change, I know it's, it, it, you know, I always think, oh, I can remember it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just write it down because, you know, you can say out loud. So this is horizontal size, 49. You know, you can say that to yourself. But the second you start messing with it, you're going to forget. And then you don't know where you were. So write down every value that you're going to change. Because once you change it, if you forget it, there's no way to get it back. Unless it happened to be the default value. Which is semi-unlikely. You know, these TVs have been around for a long time. And chances are somebody's been in here messing around. So, with that being said, horizontal size uh, is at 49 right now. And if we were to change that, you can see it actually shrinking right there so that's going down and I'm using three and six to do that or I can bring it back up you know, I'm gonna bring it back up 49 where it was um, this gives me about how I would want it for for over scan or whatever so that's H size H pause uh, we have it seven so this is the shift of the actual picture so if we go down you can see how it's kinda of shifting over I know it's hard to tell but uh, See it moving right there? See it shifting back and forth? So we'll go back to 7 because that's where I had it. V-Bow. I forget what this one does. Oh, so this is like... So yeah, here. You can see it. See how the top and it would be the bottom as well. Start kind of getting like up. Like pulled the one side. Oh, and actually I just realized I didn't no notate that whatever value i think it was at seven i'm gonna have to stop and look because i like i literally just right there i forgot what it was at so i gotta look on my video now okay so i had it at six and i'm actually torn between it's hard to see but actually torn between six to seven i'm gonna leave it at six for now but v angle we have at three so this actually kind of rotates it's hard to say but it kind of does like one of these with the image see it kind of shifting back and forth like that so we'll go we'll go back to three 
which is where it was. Trap. So this is actually like a trapezoid shape. So this is this one's kind of weird, but you'll see. So we have this at six. See how it kind of like folds it in and out on itself. We'll go back to six as well. Uh, this is pin amp. So we had it at 19, I think it was. I'm gonna have to check the video on that one, but so see how it's actually pulling the corners in and out. See that? So so you can change, you know, all of these settings are how you correct some geometry issues. And, and yes, you do have to do some of this with convergence strips, but or even a yoke adjustment, but a lot of these can be addressed with the service menu to an extent. You don't want to use the service menu to cover up an issue only to make adjustments. You know, if you're using it to correct a an issue like a bad capacitor or like, you know, you're compensating, you don't want to use it to compensate. You're just using it to correct geometry. You're not using it to compensate. C pin, I forget what this stands for, but or uh, it's some kind of pin cushion, but so it's at 36 right now. So you can see if we go way down, see how it's pulling those corners in again. Same deal, we can stretch some corners out. So we're at 36. Uh, if anything, actually, uh, I don't mind how 35 looks, actually. I think I may leave it at 35. I think that looks slightly better. It's, it's, it's hard to tell. I think we're going to go with 35 on that one. V size. So this is the vertical size. So if, uh, That was at 33, I believe. <laughs> it should have looked. That's what I get. Um, but if we go way down, you can see the image shrink. Actually, so much so that there's our... Um, I better not go too far. That's actually kind of dangerous. There's our vertical fold over. What did I say this was at? 35? Yeah, that looks about right. Um, if anything, yeah, 35, 35, 36, good. 35 is fine. Um, vertical position, so this adjusts up and down. So it's at 43, I believe. So we can go, you know, you can go way down, you can go way up. See how it's moving. So we'll go back to 43, which is where it was. And if, it, if anything, I'll just leave it. Vertical linearity. So this adjusts um, if you have uneven squares going down and up. This tries to adjust uh, the, the linearity vertically. Some of these, I'll be honest with you, I don't actually understand. So, you know, I'm just showing you what they do. I might not understand them. SCOR, like, same deal. I'm not really sure what this does. It's just doing some stretching and shrinking. You know, I'm not quite sure what it does. I think it was at 6 or 7. I'm not even going to save these settings now because I've already done too much. Ooh, so that one, I don't know what that does, but we don't we don't like that one. <laughs> V-Zoom and no bueno. I think that removes overscan. Is what that's meant to do, but EHT, not sure what that does. ASP, looks like that does some kind of vertical shrinking. SCRL, same deal, looks like kind of a scroll. I'm not sure what that was either. HBLK, not sure. So a lot of these, I'm not sure. That was just the um the some of the adjustments that I understand. So red drive, green drive, and blue drive is another one that I understand. So red drive is at 30. So if we crank it way up, see how the image gets very red and the camera is actually compensating for that. But trust me when I say it's getting very red. So we'll bring that back down to 30. Green drive is at 20. That's what I have it set to. But if we turn it way up, See how the image is getting really green, and it's even more so in person, but so it was at 20, so we'll go back. 36 on the blue drive is the same deal. We can turn it all the way up. See how it gets kind of more bluish. It once again more so in person, but what was this at? 36? That looks decent. Maybe we'll do 30. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna save these anyway. 
red cut, green cut, and blue cut also deals with the color. I'm not entirely sure how it works, to be honest, but red cut's at 8. So if we turn it way up, you know, or way down, I don't I don't know. It, it, it affects where the red stops, I guess. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Decal has something to do with the color. Um, I definitely prefer it with it on. I think it's more of a cool color, whereas it off at zero is warm. Subhue, subcolor, and sub bright. So subcolor and subhue are not going to really matter to you if you use an RGB, but sub bright does. So right now it's at five. If I turn it down, the image will get darker. If I turn it up, it'll get brighter, like way brighter. See how that's washing out the colors now, and even the lines are getting uh, squiggly. So we'll go back down. I like it at 5 where I had it set. Uh, this is the red gun. So RON, I can turn the red off. Green gun, turn the green off. Blue gun, turn the blue off. AXPL, I think is red push. I think we want that off. Same with AXNT. One of these is red push. I forget which one. Not sure what that does. Not sure what that does. Not sure what that does. Or that. This is sub sharp. Something else I forget. Uh, this is like something to do with sharpness I think as well. I have it on one. Gamma, you can turn the gamma up. I have it on zero. Uh, that's something I forget what it does. <laughs> so like a lot of these, obviously, you know, I don't know what they do. Um, but that's the best of my knowledge. That's what some of the settings do, you know. Your mileage may vary. That's just what I got. So there you have it. And then if you want to save the settings that you change, you have to do this if you want to save them. You click, uh, let me turn the brightness back up, hold on. You click focus. You're going to click muting. And then something's going to pop up on the screen. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to save these. You click muting. And then when that thing pops up, it'll say right in the top right corner, I believe. It'll say right, um, like writing is like you're writing something down. Click muting, and then when it says right, click enter, and that will save your settings. Do not immediately shut the TV off. Give it about give it about 15, 20 seconds for that to fully write, make sure everything's good, and then if you want to shut it off, go ahead and shut it off. Um, but do not immediately shut it off. It even says that in the service manual. Don't, don't do that. And then... To get the service menu to go away, as far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, the, the, the way that I do it is you just turn the TV off. Next time you turn it on, it won't be there. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually unplug my set and uh, press the power button and plug it back in. That will ensure that um, those, set, those, ch those changes that I made will not save um, because we didn't save them. But when the TV's in standby, so it's still plugged in, even though we didn't save them, those changes are still in effect. Um, but once we unplug it, it will wipe those. But if you save it by doing the muting and then enter, by writing it to the, to the chip or whatever it is, it will stay after power loss. So, yeah, there you go. That's that. And uh, that's, that's as much as I know with the service menu and and you know granted oop, you can see me i ain't got my shirt on we're gonna have whoopsies granted i don't know much but i know more than somebody who knows nothing so uh you know thanks for watching and it's worth noting for the future of this channel uh i, I really want to keep posting this kind of tech repair i better shut that nintendo off tech repair kind of tech you know crt vintage technology oriented stuff i really enjoy this stuff uh, i'm gonna try and keep posting um stuff like this so you know if, if you're interested in that stuff i'm gonna try and keep it up the best i can you know i can't there's only so much i can do but uh, i really get a kick out of this and i know other people do as well so that being said thank you and uh peace i guess